Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Alam Alalami. I'm a construction executive with the DC Department of General Services, Capital Construction Division, and I'm responsible for the public safety projects. Uh, today we'd like to feature our new uh, project. Uh, it's the Consolidated Forensic Lab project. It's a public safety initiative for us at the district, and it's going to host our uh, three major entities in it. It's going to be the, uh, the crime lab for our Metropolitan Police Department, uh, also the office of the chief medical examiner and our public health lab. All of them are going to be our prime tenants in this facility. Uh, we are going to talk to you today with, with our team uh, made of uh, HOP, our architects, and Dwight our uh, general contractors, about utilization of them uh, for this project. Um, requiring them on the project for us was by design. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have a chance to look at our uh, site layout, you will recognize restrictions we have with the project. If the project is located in downtown D.C., in an urban area, and actually adjacent to the same site. We have a fire uh, engine 13. It's a critical fire engine for the district. It's actually the fire engine that serves the, the White House. So BIM was critical in facilitating the general contractor's means and methods. Uh, also, it played a big role, of course, in the coordination. So we ran all of the models, you know, BIM, and, you know, early on in the uh, Submittal stage of the project, and we managed to you know, find all the you know, the clash detections, and we managed to to clear those out, you know, while you were drawing rather you know, when you were in a building in the field. So, so again, this was a, a big schedule of help. Later on, you know, once the once the uh, submittals were approved and the coordination was completed, the DC utilized it, you know, in, our, in their shop, and that that was a great help to the schedule as well. Uh, we had pieces coming out already coordinated. They came in, in sections. You know, they were delivered to the job site, and you know, so again, you know, so we, we this is how we kind of you know help with the schedule and it cut on a lot of you know field installation time and also you know help with the coordination. So so, so utilizing the them uh, for the uh, you know at the shop to uh, to prefab uh, you know a, a lot of the, the overhead is is actually it's, it's an easier process and also you know it, it left the uh, you know, the, the quality to, to a higher standards, you know, is also going to help us with, you know, with the operations and ongoing operations of the building. You know, uh, all of the uh, as-built drawings and the coordination drawings, you know, will be provided, you know, uh, you know, in an electronic format and that will be shared with the facility people. And also the facility people will have access to the build model, you know, yes, so they, they can go back and look, you know, what's behind walls and what's behind ceiling. I would believe that that would deliver our end user of the side of this. The, uh, the quality that, that they expect from us and from our team.